the question is uh, about the comeback. Uh, you've been off for over a year, and now uh, you're coming back and with Freddy. Me, me encuentro bien, gracias a Dios, pues, pues regresamos hace unos días al gimnasio, me he sentido de maravilla, Freddy me ha hecho trabajar muy bien y, y sé que el próximo 25 de, de febrero no tenemos ningún problema y, y, y subiremos en la mejor posición posible para, para obtener la victoria. No, I feel real good. I've been working with uh, Freddy for a couple of days. Uh, he's putting me through the paces, you know, getting ready. And uh, there's no question in my mind that I'll be a, a top physical shape for uh, the 25th. Miguel, esta podría ser tu última pelea. ¿Y qué posibilidades de una revancha con Canelo si es que sigues en el box? Estamos. Eh, this is. Uh, is this going to be your last fight? Are you close to your last fight? And uh, what about fighting Canelo in the future? Estamos eh, pensando en James. Eh, Estamos entrenando para James, estamos eh, poniéndonos listos para, para el próximo 25 de febrero y es lo que tenemos en mente, lo que venga después, pues vendrá después. Right now, the only thing in my mind is James Kirkman getting ready for the fight and after that we can think about what's next or, you know, whatever comes up, but right now the only thing in my mind is James Kirkman. And Michael, since uh, you've been a promoter ahead of this division, Looking at Miguel's next fights, do you have like a time frame of, of when you want to see him back in? And do you expect him to be back in uh, historically he's fought in June? Uh, that's going to be the next date? That's entirely up to Miguel. Uh, as he just said, uh, our number one focus is on February 25th. Um, after February 25th, um, I'm sure Miguel and his team will begin to think about the future, but that's the only thing that we've discussed at this point. Would you like to fight again in June? We'll see. We'll see what happens. James, you yourself are also coming off of, you know, long layoff. Do you feel this is the perfect fight for both you and Miguel? Uh, I, I believe it's a tremendous uh, opportunity for myself. But as far as from Miguel, uh, I feel like this is going to be uh, a good a good event, a uh, good opportunity for me and, me and Miguel to be able to uh, take advantage of uh, this opportunity and uh, put on a great fight for the fans. James, James. Um, I think a lot of fans are excited knowing that Ed Wolf is going to be in your corner for this fight. Um, what are you looking forward to in this camp? And if any, are there any things that are not looking forward to in this camp? Uh, dealing with Ian is uh, um, not interested in no, but the next day he'll uh, is held in the, in the training. But when it comes down as far as uh, uh, what to look forward and what to expect out of uh, out of camp, uh, there's, there's to put like there's no limitations to what what we're gonna go through to, to get to to be able to succeed in, uh, um, for fight time. You know. Do you feel like she gets you better mentally for a fight? Um, <laughs> Definitely, when it comes down to mentally preparing myself and physically preparing myself, uh, and definitely knows how to uh, push me to the next limit. Uh, to uh, uh, to it, it shows. This is for both fighters. It's no secret that you're closer to the end of your career than the beginning, and you must be thinking about your legacy. If you had to define what you think your legacy is to the sport, what would that be, and how do you see this fight adding to your overall legacy? Uh, when it comes when it comes to me, uh, I feel like uh, getting an opportunity to face uh, Miguel Cotto was somebody that uh, I looked looked up looked up to in boxing and seeing his career. On the tremendous change that he has brought to the game, um, you know, to, for for me to be able to get the opportunity to show what I can bring uh, uh, and, and take my uh, my boxing skill to the next limit uh, is definitely something that I can definitely put down in, in, in my boxing uh, ability and things that I have accomplished in boxing. And what do you think your career has been? Uh, to this point, man, I feel that my career is uh, it, it definitely needs to uh, get put back on the rise and show that not just to the fans, but to the uh, to boxing itself, to the sport of boxing, that uh, Kirby is definitely 
a disher. I mean, someone's going to go out there and put on a great show, not just for the fan, but for himself and for the sport of boxing. Can you repeat the questions? Sure. As you look back now toward the end of your career, your legacy to the sport, what, what do you think that is? How do you think this fight will add to your legacy? This fight is going to be the, the, the newest chapter in my career. I'm going to take it. I'm going to handle it in the best way possible. I'm going to do my best first with Freddy in the gym and then the night of the fight to, to make my family proud this night. And then my legacy, I, I, I don't control. I can't control what people can say about me after I'm retiring, but all I do in life is for my family, for my kids, and that, that's, that is going to be my legacy, what they think about me. Steve, from your point, how hard is it going to a camp with her? What do you go through? Uh, honestly, when it comes to just working with Ann, we have a uh, reputation between ourselves is that uh, I'm definitely going to give my all. And as far as motivation and push me to its next uh, next, uh, next level, uh, she's definitely one of the people that I can say they can uh, bring the best out of me. James, um, did you see Miguel's last fight against Canelo? If you did, what did you make of it? Who you fought? Uh, won? Uh, I just I did uh, see them both put on a tremendous show, uh, and I think they did an excellent job as far as uh, uh, who wins and who lost, you know, depends on. Uh, on, on, on how everybody else feels about it, you know. I have my, my, my picks and what, what, what I think and what I need to believe, but in boxing, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I'm interested in what people would do. Who you thought won the fight? That's not for me to say. Like I said, to say, I just like to see great performance and they put on a great show.